Forgive the misstep, navigating apologies in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and its fascinating nuances. Today, we're going to explore a phrase you might have heard or might need to use someday. Forgive the misstep. This phrase is a wonderful example of how English can package a request for forgiveness in a polite and somewhat formal way. So, let's unpack its meaning, usage, and dive into some examples to help you understand when and how to use it effectively. Forgive the misstep is a phrase that combines the verb forgive, meaning to stop feeling angry or resentful towards someone for an offense, flaw, or mistake, with the noun, misstep, which refers to a mistake or error in judgment. Together, this phrase is a polite and formal way of asking someone to overlook or forgive a mistake or wrongdoing. This phrase is often used in professional or formal settings, where maintaining respect and decorum is important, even when acknowledging one's faults. It's less common in casual conversation, where simpler apologies might be preferred. Formal apologies. When you're in a formal setting or need to apologize to someone in a position of authority or respect, forgive the misstep is an excellent choice. It shows that you are taking responsibility for your actions while still maintaining a level of formality and respect. Written communication. This phrase is particularly well-suited to written communication, such as emails or letters, especially in professional contexts. It helps convey your message of apology with the right tone of sincerity and formality. Acknowledging minor mistakes. Forgive the misstep is best used when referring to minor errors or judgments that haven't caused significant harm. It's a way to acknowledge that a mistake was made without overly dramatizing the situation. Let's look at a few examples to see how forgive the misstep can be used in different contexts. In a professional email, I realize now that my comments during the meeting were off target. Forgive the misstep, I intend to address this matter more appropriately in the future. During a presentation, if I have skipped over any crucial details in my explanation, I ask you to forgive the misstep. I am happy to clarify any points in question. In a formal letter, upon reflection, I recognize that my actions may have been misguided. Forgive the misstep, and allow me the opportunity to make amends. Understanding how to use phrases like, forgive the misstep, can greatly enhance your ability to communicate effectively in English, especially in formal or professional settings. It shows a level of sophistication in your language use and helps maintain respect and decorum, even when acknowledging mistakes. We hope this video has been helpful in expanding your English vocabulary and skills in articulating apologies. Remember, Mastering a language includes understanding the subtle ways we can express regret and ask for forgiveness. Until next time, keep practicing, and don't be afraid to make mistakes, they're just another step in the learning process. Thank you for watching, 